pointing, Holly has been showing us something that you might find a bit hard to watch, but the important thing here is it could save lives. Dunking babies face down in the water only to watch them flip over and float and, most importantly, breathe. Mm. These life-saving lessons can involve parents, too. Holly, good morning. Good morning. There's a number I want you guys to remember, and the number is three. On average, it takes parents three minutes to determine that their child is missing. Well, you can imagine what can happen in three minutes' time. I also want you to remember the number three because the difference between life and death when it comes to a young child in the water is three inches because that's the difference that it takes for the child just to be able to flip over. And that's where Infant Swimming Resource comes in. It is a program that teaches children as young as six months to do just that. Tracy Hurst is uh, having a demonstration for us this morning. She's a certified instructor, and she's working with John right now. He's two years old, and she's doing the swim, float, swim. That's that three inches, just getting him to flip over and float on his back, and then he swims. It really could mean the difference between life and death. Um, drowning is a big problem. It is serious. It happens all too frequently, and programs like this are working to hopefully change that. I want to introduce you to Debbie Freed, and um, Debbie is here this morning with us because, unfortunately, she knows all too well the tragedy of a drowning. Debbie, thank you for coming this morning. Thank you for sharing your story. I, I, I can't even imagine. Thank, thank you for yeah. having me. Kind of tell us a little bit about what happened. Um, in June 2006, our five-year-old little boy went to the Crofton Country Club and he drowned. Um, I had no idea the drowning statistics. Um, after that tragedy, I researched drowning statistics and realized it was the second leading cause of accidental death in the United States and the leading cause of death in 18 states for children. And what people don't realize is that 70% of the time that a child drowns, one or both parents are watching. Yes, that's 19 correct. 19% of the time, a lifeguard that's correct. is on duty. That's correct. You are amazing in your strength Thank at you. being here today, but you have taken that tragedy and now you're working to make a difference yourself. Yes, we started the Connor Harris Foundation in 2006, and we are actually holding two benefits in May. Um, May 17th, we're going to hold a fundraiser at the Irish Channel and we're going to raise money for defibrillators and donate as many defibrillators as we can to all local community pools because defibrillators will save lives. Um, they had one there at the pool that day, but it was not used on Connor because they weren't allowed to use it. When you see programs like this at work, what do you think? It's incredible. It's amazing. I saw the article in the Capitol newspaper. Tracy was on the cover of the Capitol newspaper, and I immediately emailed her because my son was mentioned as one of the, the drownings in the mm -hmm. local area that it happened. I have a 15-month-old now, Emma. So she started the swimming lessons with Tracy, and it's so important because it's going to teach my 15-month-old life-saving skills. Thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you for your message. I really appreciate it, and hopefully it will save another child's life. We're going to come over here now because this is Lou that. and Joey. Uh, now, Dad's in the pool as well. So, Tracy, kind of tell me what you're working with now and the point of this. Um, Joey is actually, he's actually, actually a graduate, and what I'm doing is I'm working with Lou, the dad, to just keep practicing the drills so that, um, you know, just to keep them fresh and going and um, basically he's just doing everything I do. Because it's something you do want to keep practicing yeah, so that it really that. becomes like muscle memory for right, the child exactly. if they found themselves in this situation. It's like riding a bike. You know, like you learn to ride it this summer and then the next summer you have to like regain your balance. Same thing here. They just have to you know, keep it fresh. Tracy, thank you so much and thank you for letting us be here this morning. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to the program's website. Uh, on average, the program is about six weeks. It depends on how quickly your child picks it up. It's five days a week, ten minutes a day, um, and it's $100 a week. But it literally is obviously something that could mean the difference between life or death. This is news you can use this morning, and it just really, uh, the pictures say it all. It's been hard to watch, but it's been amazing and gratifying to watch at the same time. Back to you guys.